Hello, this is Jay from A Stitch in Time in Bemidji, Minnesota, here with our second lesson on how to transfer our embroidery designs from the internet or from a CD onto our new embroidery machines. If you have not watched our first video where we gave instructions on how to create an embroidery album with all your designs uh, neatly organized in there, I would suggest you click in the link on the screen to do that or just check the description on the side. It's called Creating an Embroidery Album and that will give you the setup for what we're doing here today. So today we have we are going to take our designs that we already stored on our computer and we are going to copy them onto our memory stick in a way that's going to work in our new Janome embroidery machine. If you use a brother or a different brand, you're going to have to look at one of the other videos. Uh, again, check, your, check the description of the video for which one works for your machine. But this is specifically speaking with Janome, uh, primarily the uh, 11,000, the 12,000, the 200E, um, and the new 9900 that just came out uh, in the um, spring of 2013. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our embroidery album. And if you um, followed the lesson last time, we went to we go to the documents. I created a folder called Class Embroidery. I encourage you to make a folder up with your name and calling it Embroidery Album. Uh, so if your name is Ann, you'd call it Ann's Embroidery Album. That way uh, it doesn't get accidentally deleted by a family member who doesn't know what it is. I go into Class Embroidery by double-clicking on it. And I'm going to go find my designs first. So today I'm going to be using some Jeff files. And notice I have two collections here. I have Anita Good Design and Dakota Collectibles. Those are the two uh, vendors I primarily sell designs through. I'm going to be using some designs from Dakota Collectibles. So we'll go into there first. Then we will go into, I don't have all of my uh, albums in here, but I just have one. And I'm going to go into Bedtime Critters. Now again, you have different collections than I do. I'm just using this to simply show you how I have them laid out and then to give you instructions. Now if you followed my other tutorial, it would have just had your designs in here because most people only have one brand of embroidery machines. I have two. I have both Janome and Brother and so thus I have both files saved here in this folder. Now because we are going to be working with Janome today, I obviously am going to be going into the Janome folder. So when I go into there, if you notice, I have all of these files that have these weird pictures. I mean, they don't show what they are. I can't see what these designs are. That's because my computer is not an embroidery machine. It can't look at it and give me a picture and say, this is what it's going to look like stitched out because the machine, or the, my computer, doesn't know how to read an embroidery file. But that's okay. I don't. It doesn't need to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these files and put them over onto my memory stick. Now, if you remember last time, there's several ways to do this, but the easiest way, put your mouse between the file and this little separator bar, and you click and then drag a square and select all of them like that. And it's important you only get the Jeff files. You don't want any PDF files or you don't want any other brands of embroidery designs. You don't want to be mixing Brother and Janome or Viking and Janome or anything else that you want. Just the Jeff files, J-E-F. And it doesn't show that on here, but uh, it's, it's something that you, you only want those types of things. If you can't see these, there are different options that you can do here. And if you click on the details, um, on your screen, they'll be able and you'll be able to see what these are called. You know, there's a Jeff, um, these are all the Jeff files. So I selected all of these, I right click on them, and then I click copy. And now, does nothing happens, but they're copied and they're saved away. Now I need to go to my memory stick, and there's several ways you can do this. I have on my left hand side here, I have the memory stick right here, but I'm just going to close this out and show you. The way to go about it if you don't have that showing up. You would go to your start button, go to computer, and go to your memory stick. Now I named mine embroidery just so I know which one it is. That way if I have several USB sticks plugged in, I would go to embroidery. So I know which one is the embroidery one. Now when you open it up, there's two folders in here. Janome uses these 
and the first one is EMB, that stands for embroidery. The ORD is used for our sewing machines that will save uh, stitch files, like if you have um, a whole bunch of decorative stitches you've combined together to make your own pattern, that would be stored in the ORD. For us embroiderers, we just ignore this file altogether. Don't delete it, but just ignore that one altogether. We want to go into the EMB folder. So in the EMB folder, there's currently just one, when, when you first start out with a USB stick, there's only going to be one folder here. It's going to be called EMBF. What's that? Um, it's just the factory default folder that they put there. You can uh, put designs in there if you want to, but I tend to just leave that alone for my miscellaneous ones. And instead, what I do is I make a folder up just like we did in the embroidery album. I make a folder up here for my designs. So to do that, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go down to new, and then up to folder. And this one was called Bedtime Critters. And so I just type in Bedtime Critters, press Enter, and now I have a folder that is now named for this collection. I can't paste my Jeff files here. If I paste my uh, if I paste my Jeff files in here, my computer won't read them. My computer won't read them. It'll just show up. Um, that my, my excuse me, my embroidery won't read them. My embroidery file. They cannot be here. I cannot. Uh, I have to put them in a folder. Oh, I'm, that's right. I'm having problems with my um, memory stick here because of the um, software that I'm using here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to put them in the bedtime critters, and in that folder there, we can then paste our designs. And then the machine will read it. So again, we have our, our embroidery stick. We, we went into the EMB folder. We created another folder with a name for whatever one of these designs. And then inside that folder is where we actually pasted our Jeff designs. I made a little graphic up to show you how this works because this is really important to know how to put them in and exactly where to put them. I'm going to be uploading this file to the internet and uh, making it available for download, um, check the comments section or the on description of the video and there'll be a link there for this. But this is really important. You have your memory stick and when you open up your memory stick, here's those two folders, EMB folder. There's the EMBF folder that's inside of the EMB folder. But when then we can make an, as many of these folders in here as we want. Now I made one and called it Bedtime Critters and then I had to put the Jeff files in there. It doesn't do me any good to put the Jeff files down here, you know, where you can see them with all here. The machine won't be able to read them. It has to be put inside a folder here. Neither can I add another folder underneath this and then put the Jeff files after that. It won't read that. It has to be laid out in this sequence for the Janome embroidery machine to read them properly. So again, uh, I'm going to make this graphic available online and so that you can use this for your personal reference. I would recommend until you get the hang of this, you know, download that graphic, print it out, keep it there beside your computer, and you'll find it very useful. So again, um, what we did is we go to your documents, to your um, embroidery album, you select the Jeff files that you want, just the Jeff files, and you copy them, you come back to your embroidery stick, excuse me, come back to your embroidery stick, you double click on it, you go into the EMB folder, you make another folder, just ignore these ones here, I'm, my, my software is not letting me delete them right now, and then you go into the folder you created and paste your Jeff files there. Then it will show up on your machine. Thanks much, hope you appreciate the tutorial. Leave a comment below if you need something clarified and we'll do that from then. Thank you.